Hello, everybody. Here we are. I'm back. Okay, so um, I'm Linda Daniels, and this is our Lunch with Linda on today, hopefully both Facebook Live and on our YouTube channel. Um, this is Northampton Wools, as you can see behind me, a yarn store, and I am really happy to be back. I've been away for two weeks um, out in California. We had a wonderful time out there. So I feel like, wow, I've been gone for quite a while. If you are joining us, say hello. Um, so we know that there are people there. I am using a new program that my son um, told me about. I can see you, Kate, that you just said hello to everybody. So I'm not sure how the how I'm going to be able to see comments or which comments I'm going to be able to see. This new program allows me to um, broadcast on both Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Here we go. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Decker. Um, so hopefully it looks like people are able to see both. Great. Uh, so this alone was worth the trip out to California to be able to yeah. do this new new setup because now we just have one we just have one camera um, but it's doing broadcasting to both Facebook like I said and to our YouTube channel so both of these will be recorded and if you don't catch us at 1230 you'll be able to watch us later on um, because I haven't been here for two weeks there's a lot to tell you about and if I jump around a little bit I'm sorry but I have a lot of stuff um, to show you and to talk about and to prepare you for this week because like our title said it's local yarn store day thanks Amanda these are one of the things that I'm going to talk about um, yeah Barbara you can go back and forth I think YouTube or Facebook that's kind of cool mm -hmm. uh, hopefully with the Facebook what we are still able to do is to link Kate can put links up to certain things or patterns that I talk about because we never did really figure out how to do that on YouTube. So um, we she will be going probably back and forth um, to make sure that everything gets up there. But yeah, these earrings, I'll talk about them first. We got an order of things in from Katrinkles. Katrinkles is a somewhat local company. They are down in, now I can't remember if it's Connecticut or Rhode Island, but they've been around for quite a while and they make all kinds of little um, knitting trinkets. And this is their newest earring. It is actually a needle gauge for up to a size seven needle from double zero all the way up to size seven. And there is no real six because in true um, needle gauge fashion, the fives, US fives and US sixes are the same. And they come with a little one of those little rubber um, things on the back, stoppers on the back, so that they don't fall out of your ears. They're incredibly light, although they're a little bit longer than I'm used to. So I'm constantly feeling like I'm catching them um, on my collar. But that is one thing, one new thing that we got in from them. That's not where I was going to start today, but I guess I will <laughs> start with them. The other thing that we got, one of the other things that we got was a little sheep cutter. So this is what it looks like. It's a little wooden um, shape like a sheep and you see this big ditch right here. Buried in there is a little razor and it will cut, act as a yarn cutter. I have a little piece of yarn here. You stick it in there and you pull and it cuts. It's not going to trim your ends on your knitted piece. You need just because it, you need to really yeah. pull the yarn down, but it is great for travel. And if you don't want to carry scissors around, it is a good little thing like that. It can go right on your keychain. That's what this little chain is for. So you will always have some sort of cutter. Hi, Bess. Hi, Linda. Hi, Barb and Rosemary. So Katie great. from Katrinkles, Katie from Katrinkles graduated from RISD. From RISD. With a degree in jewelry. Well, they have huge wood cutting machines now and we've packaged it in one of these little 
organza bag, so you can get it as a little gift. Um, we also got, and these I just love, mm -hmm. um, we got a set of four, their leather labels, and it says, this is the back, with a picture of a sheep butt. So how many of you take your sweaters out and you have to hold them up to figure out is the front neck lower than oh, the I back time. all the time? Every time I put this sweater on. <laughs> all right, which which one is it? And I'm looking for how many short rows there are. So this is a very lightweight leather label. It's about an inch by a little bit more than an inch, maybe an inch by an inch and a quarter. And there are holes punched in the side so you can sew it right in it. And if you don't want to sew it in right up at the neck, go down a little bit. You know how labels can sometimes be really irritating on your back neck? Just sew it down in a little bit and that will save you a lot of what's the front, what's the back when you're getting dressed. We also got from them another little label. And this label I ordered because it is half of our logo, number one. And it's gonna make a great little label to sew onto hats. So it's just a little tiny leather leather um, label, again, with the four holes punched in for sewing of our yarn ball with the knitting needles. And so I thought that would look really cute on the outside of a hat. Hey, Bonnie, glad you're with us. So we got some of those in as well in this little package. The earrings, the labels, the sheep, and then we have, of course, back to our Northampton wool stitch markers. So we have a lot of those as well. That was our Katrinkle's um, new shipment of goodies in. She's constantly trying to come up with some fun new stuff and we always add something a little bit um, fun and extra to do. So yeah, thank you everybody for the welcome back. I am back and like I said, we had a really wonderful time out there with, um, and you're back from Mexico, Bonnie. I saw that you guys were coming back um, this weekend or this yesterday or something, but um, we had a great time and I got a lot of knitting done. I finished my ranunculus. I've posted about this um, and I absolutely am so happy with how this came out. I did this in a yarn called Fantasy Natural. It's a 100% cotton from Plymouth Yarn. We have carried this yarn in the past, but we don't currently stock it, but I am happy to special order it for you. No, I will leave the sweater here so that you can see and feel what it's about, what it's like, because it's completely different um, from the ranunculuses or ranunculi that I have done before. Um, every single time I've done it before, I've done it with a strand of mohair and a strand of fingering weight yarn. So you get that light, soft feel. This has a little bit of a denser feel to it because um, it is a good solid worsted weight cotton. But I did still knit it on a size 10 needle. I did my usual, not quite a full length sleeve so that I can um, pull it up. And it, it took about eight skeins of this 100 gram cotton to do. It's a Plymouth yarn. You can look at the website, plymouthyarn.com and look for Fantasy Natural to see all of the colors that it comes in. And if you are really interested in it, um, like I said, we can special order it for you. The other thing that I got finished was this wink um, that I sent out in the email, um, the pattern for, and I hope you got the correction email too. I was n finishing and writing the pattern out there in California. And I do remember being called to dinner when I was just trying to finish typing up. So I, I just forgot the yarn overs on row three. If you are interested in that one, we've got that now in the store that is also a cotton. Um, and I meant it, designed it to be a cover up. So it's light, it's loose, it's open. Um, I wore it out there over a sleeveless dress that I had. Um, I certainly think that it would work uh, as a beach cover-up or on those evenings when it is a little chilly and you just want something over your shoulders. It's not heavy, um, even though that cotton is also a worster weight. But it's a really easy lace pattern too. Once you try it, um, it's just the same thing over and over and over again. So I got that done out there. And then this little top, this I knit with the new cotton that we have called Cottontails. 
It's a really soft, dry cotton. It's very loosely spun. This is a little one of those, it's not quite a bralette tank top, maybe? Yeah. Um, and you can make it a little longer. I kept it a little bit cropped. It's knit in the round, a real easy knit one purl one to begin with. And then the pattern changes to a knit two purl two. And then there's a little bit of shaping to cut out the armholes. And it's adorable. Kate had it on um, when I first brought it back and it's perfect under a sweater. Oh yeah, I'm making one for myself. It's gonna be really, really great. And that cotton is just so soft. And I think that we have reached the point where we can say, knit items for underwear. Don't wear the that, Oops. you know, elastic bra anymore yeah. or that binding stuff. We're really seeing more and more and more of this kind of thing come out and it really does take place. Now, I know it's not for everybody, um, but certainly young people are really going to enjoy making it and wearing it. And if you've got young people um, in your life, you might think about whipping a couple of those out for this summer because it really is comfortable. And that cotton comes in a ton of different colors. So um, I've got those three things done. Those colors on the website too. And they're all, all of this stuff is up on the website so you can take a look at it in much closer view. And then the other thing that I worked on when I was out there was the Casa Pinka Rick Rack Shawl. And that is um, Casa Pinka's entry for this year's Local Yarn Store Day. And Local Yarn Store Day, <coughs> excuse me, is Saturday, April 30th. And we are going to be doing a ton of stuff. I finished the Rick Rack Shawl and blocked it yesterday. And I am in love it's so pretty. with this. It's a boomerang shawl. So you start really thin and then get really wide and then bind off. And there, there, the pattern up here is really very simple. And then you have a little bit of a, what you might identify as a, it, yeah, no. the, oh gosh, I, anyway, it's a very common up and down pattern, increase, decrease. S somebody out there remember what this thing is called. <laughs> because my mind has gone completely I remember the blank. blankets I've made with it. You made it. Everybody has done this. <laughs> Shell something or other. It's a classic pattern, but it's a, just a little bit of it. Um, you can see right here where you have the increase lines and the decrease lines. Feather and fan. Thank you, Beth. I was going to say that. Feather and fan pattern. A little bit of that to just to add a little bit of interest at the bottom. And then it ends with just four rows of ribbing so that the edge doesn't curl and it blocks out beautifully. Now, you're gonna see a lot of this all over the place online because Casa Pinka has um, tried her best to support local yarn stores every year for the five years that we have had local yarn store day. And the way it works is this. You need, in, in order to get the pattern for this Rick Rack shawl for free, you need to purchase two skeins of fingering weight yarn. Um, and every store gets to choose whatever yarn they want to feature for it. When you purchase the yarn from your local yarn store, you will be given a magic code that you use on Ravelry on Saturday and Sunday. It has to be used Saturday and Sunday. And the free pattern will go right into your Ravelry library. If you need help with that, when you purchase from us, we'll, um, if you're here in the store, we'll pull Ravelry up and we'll get it right into your Ravelry library with you standing right there with us. If you um, purchase something online, we can send you the code in an email and Ravelry really likes you to copy and paste, not to type it in because her codes are long and involved. They have capital letters and numbers, and they have to be exactly right. Otherwise they won't work. And she will not answer an email about a problem like that, just because thousands of them are going out. I mean, when we were shut down, it was Casa Pinka's free pattern codes that really helped us through a couple of those months. So tonight you're going to be getting the email from me 
that um, tells you all about this pattern and how to get it and the yarn that we are going to be, that we are featuring. Um, and no, Bess, it, you can purchase the yarn beforehand. Um, and if you tell me that it's for the Casa Pinka shawl, I can get you the code. You just can't use the code until Saturday morning at eight o'clock, but you can purchase um, the kit or any yarn tonight, anytime starting now. We have kitted together the Butterfly BFL from um, Dream in Color. And that is this yarn. This is one of the colors that I used. And this is well, I can't grab it because it's stuck, but this is the yarn that I used for it in, in two different colors. We are in the email that we're sending out tonight. We've put together eight color combinations. We have a limited supply of this because this is one of the club yarns, which means that we get in um, just five skeins of each color, but we get like eight colors in it. So Kate and I put together groupings of it and packaged them up. Here are the two colors that I used. Thank you, Kate. So we put them in a package like this, but you will see them like this on the email tonight. You only need one skein of each color to do the, the shawl. So we did not put the kits on the website. So you actually have to pick your number and send me an email or call me on Wednesday and we'll put that color combination away for you. We also still have um, lots of kind of like free skeins. We just put up sample kits of, of the colors, but there are other colors as well. So we put together a pink version like this. Really, really pretty. And besides being pretty, pretty, I want to tell you about this yarn. This is, it's called Butterfly and it's Blue Face Leicester. Thank you. And the Blue Face Leicester is a breed of sheep that has not been around for all that long. It was bred specifically for meat, um, but they realized that um, the fiber that was being produced as well as the meat was really, really special. It's a very long fiber um, and it is um, narrow. In, in other words, that, that they're called microns. It's not a really thick strand. It's a thinner strand and it's very, very curly. Now, top of the line is Merino. And if you've ever seen a Merino sheep, you know how absolutely curly they are. Well, Blue Face Slicer has that same kind of curliness, not quite the same, but curly like that. And what the curliness does is add a lot of spring and bounce um, to the yarn. It is a really lustrous wool, and you can sort of see that in the in this game. Now they have mixed this. It's 80% Blue Face Leicester with 10% cashmere and 10% silk. So some of that luster is coming from the um, silk that's in there as well. But the, the wool itself is a really lustrous wool. That means it reflects light. It's gonna show itself really, really well. Um, this stuff is dyed by um, Dream in color, so all of the colors are hand dyed and they combine it with that cashmere and silk to help the color, the, the yarn take colors differently. And it is, even the solid colors are a bit of a tonal quality to them. So you're gonna have some light and dark spaces in that. And you know, I'm not sure that you can really see it in the picture, but in the blue, that's the more solid one. You can kind of see that it looks a little liney. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the light and dark going back and forth. Um, so it it has a tonal quality. If you did all big chunk of one of those solid colors, you would see that more, um, it would be more obvious. So this 
because these are hand dyed by Dream and Color, it means that the colors really complement each other. So you can almost pick, pick any two colors and they're really going to go well together. When you work with a two color shawl, you wanna have some contrast usually, but you also want them to look good together. So when you're picking from Dream and Color, you almost know that those colors are gonna to go together really, really well. So why is it a blue face lyser? I found this really interesting too when I was looking up about it. The sheep are called a blue face lyser because they actually have a blue nose underneath their white skin Aww. around their, their face is blue, a really dark blue, obviously. Um, but that's why they're called blue face lyser because they do actually have blue on them. Aww. So the, the um, way the fiber comes off of the sheep, it's a much lighter than a lot of other wool breeds. In other words, it, it has more of a hollow core to it rather than a solid core to it. That means that you're going to get a lot of loft. A lot of loft means a lot of drape. So this shawl I am in love with. And since it seems to be my mission to wear more blue this year, <laughs> That's so this is making the, the sweater look periwinkle. Um, but boy, isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. And with a cuff or one of the cuffs on it, it's gonna be a great shawl. It's a nice size without being really, really big. Mm -hmm. I started it in California and now we get to my horror story. Okay, I started it in California and um, was really, really happy. I had wound the yarn up before I left and um, when it's in the skein, it, it's one of those yarns that you'll kind of go, eh, it's okay. <laughs> it really, it's okay. Yeah. But I wound it up. And when I started it, I took the cakes out of the bag, the project bag that I had them in. And I, I almost out loud said, <laughs> oh, holy cow, it changed completely. It was so incredibly soft. Mm. And that's what this lighter weight core and the blue face lyser and the cashmere and silk do. It softens up incredibly without having that slinky feel that superwash does. Mm -hmm. Now you can knit this out of any superwash, out of any fingering weight yarn. It will have a slightly different look and a slightly different feel and a slightly different break, drape to it. But I was really, really surprised, pleasantly surprised and very happy. And I'm really, really happy with how this feels. You're gonna love knitting with this. It's got a really smooth texture on the needle. If you are if you are a metal needle um, fan, it's just gonna fly. It's gonna have a little bit of a drag on the bamboo, but it's still not, um, it, it's not slow. It's not slow knitting. So I always travel with a set of interchangeable needles, which I brought with me. And I had started this shawl and then decided to knit this up because it was gonna be really quick. And so I only had the one pair of sixes. So I took the tips off of this, put them on another cord and I started and finished that. Now, I didn't finish it in California. I got up to the um, to the armhole shaping. Then it was time to come home. And we packed everything up and I knew that this was in one specific project bag and that's what I was gonna take on the airplane. So I packed everything. And when we got to the airport, um, the big D said, I'm not carrying the bag on. And so we checked my knitting carry-on bag at the gate. We get into our seats and we sit down and I open my bag up to knit and I don't have tips <laughs> on my needle. Uh -oh. We had a direct flight from LA to Boston, four and a half hours <laughs> in the middle of the day with absolutely no knitting. First time in my life, I think I have been in a situation like that where I had nothing to knit. I had to watch TV. Oh my God. <laughs> Knitting? Without knitting. No. Oh man. Uh, that was my knitting horror story. <laughs> anyway, I got I got it finished in this week that we've been home. I got that finished and uh, just another lesson learned to be a little bit more careful 
about everything. So <laughs> if you choose this um, for your Casa Pinca, and I hope you all do decide to do it, you will be very happy and you will have a very unique um, shawl when you're done. Because like I said, it's a limited supply. I think I can turn this and show you that we do have other colors that other combinations of things you can come on in and check them all out and see if there's something that makes you happy and you will be really pleased with how this knits i know i feel your pain amanda too bad <laughs> <laughs> it's my job it's my job so what else are we doing for local yarn store day because it's a party it's a party Exactly. I know I'm so smart that I carry my um, interchangeable needles, but then did not realize that I needed the same size on different projects. Okay. So everybody that visits us on local yarn store day, which again is Saturday, is immediately going to get a local yarn store day sticker, which you can put anywhere, your notebook, your coffee cup, um, anywhere you put stickers. So local yarn store day with Northampton Wool's Dot com on it. That's just for walking in the door. You will also get entered into our door prize drawing. And I'm really excited about what we're doing because one lucky winner is going to get a copy of the Stripes book from Lane Magazine. And That's this like is, it's a 50 buck book and it is filled ugh, with some really <laughs> wonderful patterns and suggestions on how to use stripes. In addition to that, that's where that ribbon is, we are giving you yarn so that you can make this shawl if you choose. And what we are giving you is two skeins, it's a total of four skeins, I need four hands, <laughs> um, of Jillian Kittles, because it's written for a DK weight. So we chose this combination, the pink and gray, um, so that you can knit that shawl. So if you come in, we'll have a place for you to fill out your um, entry form. And at the end of the day, we'll be choosing the lucky winner. So the Stripes book and Jillian Kittle's yarn. Oh, Bonnie says you can't knit when you fly out of Mexico. Oh. Yeah, oof. Here you go, take that, thank you. Um, oh yeah, so you're going to get your sticker, you're going to get entry, in, entry into the um, door price drawing. Um, I think we're going to have some cookies and we're going to be serving peppermint tea, um, so you can sample that. And we have, it because it's local yarn store day, we decided to have a little game with local our local yarns. So Kate has drawn up this really fun, I'm just gonna flash it to you because you can't be, I don't want you to be, uh, have an adva unfair advantage. We've got five clues. For example, number one is this very local hand dyed yarn company reminds us of what flowers do in the spring. You're going to get to fill that in, walk around the store, find it, find that yarn, write your answer down. And when you have completed or found all five, just bring it up to the desk. We're going to check off your answers, give you your paper back, and we're going to give you a little prize. So everybody's going to get a little bonus for um, completing our local yarn treasure hunt. Yay. So that's going to be a fun little additional surprise. thing. It's very, yeah, we're not telling you what you're going to get, but you're going to get a nice little bonus prize um, for doing the treasure hunt. And hopefully most of you already know the answers to those because they've been, they're not you yarns, they've been in the shop. You just have to find them and uh, write down the name of them. Um, I put a, we did a little Instagram post and again, We've gotten in our Northampton Wool's pins, which are nice, really, really nice quality, heavy duty. Um, they'll, they'll go on a bag and stay on that bag. We also had them turn, our logo turned into stickers. 
So another sticker, all of these things you can purchase. And I also got, I was talked into doing what? a go knit something. <laughs> so, no, I know, I love it. I really, really love it. I hope you guys love it too. So we've got all kinds of goodies like that um, for you as well. Um, and hopefully you find something. The other thing is the first 10 people, and that doesn't mean the first 10 people in the door. It means all day long, the first 10 people to spend $100 or more are going to get their stuff in one of our free cool wool tote bags. We only have 10 of these. And so that's why we're only going to be able to give them to 10 people, but it's a real good sized oh, yeah. pleated bottom reusable bag. You can throw it in the wash, laundry, take it grocery shopping, or just carry your yarn around with you. But it's a good project size. This is a sweater oh, yeah. size bag. Mm -hmm. So the first 10 people that spend a hundred dollars, whether you're in the store or online, I guess we can yeah. do, mm -hmm. um, we'll get it until all 10 of those are gone. Oh, see, I knew I was gonna be jumping all around. <laughs> I also finished on my vacation, this, this sweater called Waves of Change. This is a sweater pattern on Ravelry by Denise Bayron. It's a pretty popular one. It's been around, it is a bulky weight yarn. And I managed to dig out um, four frog sweaters, I mean, buttons and one square one of my button stash at home. So I thought I would use those up as well. And I can't show you this yet, but I can tell you, I also finished a new pattern for Plymouth Yarn. They have a new yarn coming out that we should have in another couple of weeks. And I did a design for them. So that's already done and sent to them. They'll be photographing it. They have the pattern um, that I wrote for them already. So we're excited to get that as well. So, oh my goodness, we got so much going on. Let's see. I did all of that. Okay. Whew. So come on in on Saturday, please. Support local yarn store day. Have some fun with us. Um, show us the love and we'll show it right back to you. So now we have the, I want to talk just quickly about um, some of the other stuff. We got in contrast. And if you're online at all or follow Lane Magazine, this book is getting lots and lots and lots of press. It's already sold out. They've already sent back to the printer to get uh, another copy. And you can also get an e-version of it. But the sweaters, every single thing in here, I want to make because they are gorgeous. Am I holding that up right? This is a big one. This is a big coat with a hood, but it's all about texture. The cables, the bobbles, really, really beautiful. Oh, that's a fun hat. <laughs> yeah, Rosemary, I know, but you know, I am a fast knitter and we're out there. I am on vacation. We are busy, and, but there, I do have a lot of knitting time as well because my grandchildren are older now and um, they can play in the pool and I can sit and knit or they can play with their friends and I can sit and knit. We did go take them to Universal um, one day, which is probably the last time I'll go and I will think hard <laughs> before I ever say, yeah, Nana will take you because man, oh man, I had to get in the hot tub the next day. From all that standing. It is, it's a cardigan vest, yeah. And I think, but I think she's done it as both a cardigan and a uh, pullover. She has. Um, so I think I, they might even be both both styles um, on the pattern. Bonnie, I will save you a book because we only have five to sell. So now one of, the, one of them is gone. But there are just all kinds. And what I really love about the book is that it's done with um, decent weight yarn. It's not all fingering weight that's gonna take um, forever to knit. And some of it is stocking knit stitch on the back and the pattern is all, the patterning is on the front. This this turtleneck, 
I love. I know I'm going long, guys, but you haven't seen me in two weeks. This one. All the action is on the front. The back and the sleeves are plain, but isn't that beautiful? Don't you just want to have that on? All right, so I've already got a reorder in. I knew that this book was gonna sell out right away, and this we can sell right now. There also, we have this in, but we can't sell this until May 7th, but it is, um, it's in the inventory, but I don't, it's not, not pictured on the website yet. No. Um, Kate will do that this week. We'll have this up on the website. This is the next, the summer issue of Lane Magazine. Cannot sell it until the 7th, but we can take pre-orders. So when she gets it on the website, you can buy it on the website and then pick it up on May 7th. And um, there's another book, but we can't sell that until the end of May. So I'm not going to show you the Estonian knitting book until later on. No sense making you miserable and saying, I want it, I want it. So those are the two new books that are in. And then the last thing that I want to show you, just let me make sure it is the last thing. It is. The last thing that I want to show you is something, another cotton that we got in called Coastal Cotton. We've never had a really good um, basic workhorse cotton to use for, hi Jerry, to use for dishcloths. And now we do. So this is a 185 yards in each skein. It's five fifty dollars a skein, so it's a really good price. And we're, um, we got this because it would be perfect for washcloths. So we had, we got every single color that they make, and I did not bring those all up. I just brought a little you smattering. To, you have eight hands I need eight hands. <laughs> I brought a smattering of the colors because look how pretty those are. They're so springy. And then there's a whole other range as well. There's probably 25 colors yeah, down there at least. It. But it's a great washcloth pattern. And there are a million and one washcloths that have um, shapes on them or flowers just in knit and pearl. And Mother's Day is coming. It's in two weeks. Yeah, it's, it's just about two weeks from now. Plenty of time to knit a washcloth and get a special soap to go with it and wouldn't that make a great gift mm -hmm. yeah well if anybody that i know wants to knit for me for mother's day that's what you want adrian <laughs> <laughs> i could use a new washcloth yeah. um out there some ways some way so if you're looking for a decent little cotton whether it's to make washcloths or toys or um just something to play around with we have got you covered with every possible um, color you could expect to use. So let me just take a look. I think I've covered <laughs> everything that I spread around myself um, for you guys today. And um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And hopefully you've been caught us both on Facebook and on YouTube. I will be able to check that later on today when they are actually posted and up. And I thank a big thank you to my son for showing me how to use this app. And um, we'll be here on Wednesday, getting ready <laughs> to um, get ready for local yarn store day. And now go knit something. All right, you guys, thank you and bye. <laughs>